Just dropped a boy off at the bus stop, hence the skateboard, which I did not ride. <laughs> Someone wants some attention. I'm getting my hair cut today, which is exciting because I only get it cut like twice a year and I'm due. I'm trying to like grow out this color. I got balayage done a couple years ago and um, I decided I just don't want to, I just want to let my hair do its natural thing. So I'm just going to grow it out and today I'll probably cut an inch or two off the end. Um, I still like to keep it long. I just gave Wyatt a deer rib bone outside to hopefully occupy him for a bit. The feedback from the majority of you has been that you're enjoying that I'm sharing my faith on here. Um, there have been maybe like two people who have said something against it, like they're not enjoying it, they don't want to see it. And I respect that. However, it is my channel and especially with these vlog videos that are more personal and like my day to day, I'm going to share it because it's a huge part of what I think about all day and how I operate my life. It's based on my faith. So if you don't enjoy it, you could skip this part. But I do want to share a little bit about wisdom because it's something that I've been really kind of unintentionally focusing on this year and I think it's just something that God has brought on my heart this past year and if you haven't looked through the book of Proverbs there's so much wisdom in this book it's amazing my friend Carlene did like a 31 day Proverbs reading with her followers she did a chapter a day and um because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs it just has little proverbs, like each verse is its own little nugget of wisdom and it's just so, so good. There's so much about the way we speak, how we use our tongues for good or evil, like the words that we say and how we say them. There's a lot about gaining wisdom and the right things to focus on versus the wrong things to focus on. Then of course there's Proverbs 31, which is, um, a wife of noble character which is a great chapter for women to read if you haven't read that and you are a wife i definitely recommend reading it it's only a few verses but there's so much wisdom in it again um and wisdom is interesting because it's different from knowledge like you can have a, no a lot of knowledge you could have a phd and still not be wise and i think that we think of wisdom as something that comes with age a lot of the time but you can still be older and not have much wisdom. And the Bible actually says to pray for wisdom, which I've been doing. And um, I've seen God give it to me. He gives it freely when we truly, genuinely want wisdom. Oh, Galatians. I used this kid's song to memorize all the books of the Bible. So I'm singing it to myself in my head right now. Um, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, right? Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter. Um, is it in James? Yeah, okay, so James 1, verse 5. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. If you ask, and then in the next verse it says, ask without doubting. So if you ask genuinely, you believe that God will give you wisdom, he will. Like, if you have, if you seek his wisdom with an earnest heart, He'll give it to you. And so that's what I've been praying this year, among other things. Um, but God has just really opened my eyes to a lot of things about myself and the way that I conduct myself in my daily life. The way that I speak to people, especially my immediate family, um, my heart and the way that I view certain things. Like I do a lot of stuff inside the house. That's my main domain where I work, you know? Like I have this job, but I feel that in my heart, my main job is taking care of my home and my family so that my family can thrive. And I think that the way he has changed my heart in that regard has been dramatic because I see it more as um, service to him. Like even something like washing the dishes, which can seem so mundane and like uh, I used to like complain about it or be annoyed about it. And now I see it as some, a way to serve my family and in that way, give glory to God and to honor the gifts he's given me. We have food, we have a house, we have a kitchen. I can cook meals for my family. Like what a blessing. So many people do not have that. So it's been a lot of focus for me on wisdom 
and also taming my tongue which can be hard for people you know controlling the things that you say is really hard and there's so many verses in proverbs about the tongue and what can come from an untamed tongue and it's all bad so learning to tame your tongue is super important and it's something that I've been working on. <laughs> this is a good one. A beautiful woman who rejects good sense is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. There's just so much in here. I feel like I could talk about this book forever. Just every verse just has so much in it. Oof, this is a good one. Every wise woman builds her house, but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands. Ladies, we are the thermometers of our home. We're the ones who set the tone. Guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. Did I hear these as a teenager? Yeah. Did they sink in? Some of them did. Here's one. A wise person is cautious and turns from evil, but a fool is easily angered and is careless. Self-control. One of the fruits of the spirit. All right, I have a little time now, so I'm gonna pray a little bit and then I'm gonna edit yesterday's video so I can get it posted today because I have a little time before my haircut. I'm so excited. See, there's like this much color left. No, uh, yeah, about this much color left. So we'll get rid of a couple more inches and then eventually it'll all be my, my natural brown again. I did enjoy having this like little blonde in my hair, but it's just not, I just don't need it. There's my office. This is my, um, what's it called? My silver play button when I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I got this idea from Michelle Reed here on YouTube. She does like a seasonal wallpaper. I make it on Canva and I just pick like a bunch of pictures from Google or Pinterest that I enjoy looking at and remind me of the season. So this is my wintry, Christmassy wallpaper and it makes me so happy every time I turn my computer on. Is it so pretty, Wyatt? He is just, he's my shadow. He follows me all over the house. I guess things could be worse, right? I'm sitting in my office in my house, working on my YouTube channel with a puppy on my lap. Okay, I changed outfits because I don't know why. I feel like when I go to the hairdresser, I kind of want to look somewhat nice. So I've, I'm wearing this black sweater from Altered State and a pair of jeans with those boots I wore yesterday. And I'm gonna bring her a pepper spray because I don't know if I've ever given her one and if I did, it's probably expired. So I'm gonna bring her a pepper spray and I'm gonna carry in a different bag. Um, I'm just gonna switch out my stuff from the bag that I carried in yesterday. Cause if I wore the Yukawala bag that I wore yesterday, which is this, if I wore that today, I'd probably have to take it off cause it's so big and I'm not gonna take a bag off if there's a gun in it. So I'm gonna wear a bag that I can wear while she's cutting my hair. When I was little, my mom used to cut my hair really short. And in her defense, she says she was trying to make it thicker or stronger or something. I love you, mom. Um, but now that I'm older, like I always wanted long hair as a kid. So now that I'm older, I just, I can't cut it. Like I can't cut it short. Um, maybe someday, I don't know, but I can't see myself ever cutting my hair short. <laughs> All right, here we go. Gun goes in the pocket in the back of this bag. Um, I put this bag together myself, like into a concealed carry bag. If you want to know how I did that, check out this video up here. I've got my extra magazine in a Neo mag right there, my budgie pocket knife, and a black palm pepper spray just to match my outfit. And that's it. Let's go get our hair cut. So yesterday I showed you guys how the Ukoala bag sits when I have my seatbelt on. This bag is even better because it fits right in the space between the seatbelt that goes across my chest and the part that goes across my lap. So I could draw my gun out of here just the way it is if I had to for some reason draw it while I'm seated in the car. This bag is so perfect for so many reasons. That's one of them. Another one is that I can just attach the key to the little clip here. And if you have a vehicle like mine where you don't have to put the key in the ignition, you just press the button. I could just have my keys right here so I can unlock without having to go fishing through my purse or anything while I'm waiting outside the car, because that's unsafe. Um, so I just, I love this bag. My favorite way to carry right now, I show it all the time, I know, but that's because there's so many good, good things about it. 
And so when I decide, like when I'm trying to figure out how to carry on a certain day, I decide what to wear, what I want to wear that day, and then I pick my concealment or my holster based on that. So today I wanted to wear this sweater, um, which is a more cropped sweater. And so um, I wasn't going to wear a gun in like a belly band or anything, so I decided to go with this bag. And um, like, I don't know, someone else who wears the same holster every day probably doesn't have to think about that. or. Some other people might base their clothing around what holster they want to wear that day. That's just not how I do it. I pick what I want to wear and then I choose a holster and how I'm going to carry based on that. I've never, since I started carrying, wanted to have to change the way that I want to dress because I want to carry a gun. Like I didn't want that to be a, to use a biblical term, I didn't want it to be like a stumbling block <laughs> for me carrying. I don't want to have to change my style just because I want to keep myself safe. And thankfully there are so many different companies now that fall into um, women's concealment and try to make clothing and accessories and things that make it easier for us to keep ourselves safe. So I'm super thankful for that. Um, I'm gonna do a little before of my hair and then we'll do an after so you can see what it looks like. I get my hair cut at a salon called Sage Salon and the girl who cuts my hair is Taylor. I'm excited because she recently had a baby, the cutest little baby boy, um, but this is my first time seeing her in a bit. I got my hair cut in the meantime by someone else and that was fine but I like to go see Taylor so I'm excited to see her and have her cut my hair. All right, I'm running late so here's the before. Okay, I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of dark in here, but I'm done. Here's the after. Oh, I just love the feeling after you get a haircut. It just feels so like fresh. All right, let's go home. You can see it a little better in the flight. She does such a good job. I had her cut these front pieces a little bit and she trimmed a few inches off. And yeah, fresh, freshly cut hair. Thank you, Taylor, if you watch this. Okay, so Mac and I just had to run out for a couple errands, but now we're home and I have to edit. But before I do that, I have to clean the house a bit because there are things that are a little out of place. I have to do the dishes. I have to put this bag of food away that we just got. So I like to set a timer. What's this? I like to set a timer for like 10 minutes because when I set a timer, it keeps me on track. I'm not going to get distracted because I know that I only have 10 minutes to do something. So I'm going to set a timer and do a little time lapse here and see how much we can get done. Set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. I got the kitchen done <laughs> in 10 minutes, did all the dishes, put away the groceries. I just have to put away that comforter cover and then I'm good. So I'm gonna go at it now. I have the best husband in the whole world. Hi, baby. Hey, I love you. Okay, I also just realized that today I hit 175,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button and the not notification bell because it really helps support my channel. So thank you all for subscribing. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you. Okay, I just filmed an outro and then I realized that I have to make some overnight oats because we've gotten rid of cereal in our house. And as a substitute, because Ryan wakes up really early um, so that he can feed himself, We've been making overnight oats and they're really good and they're healthy, so I'm gonna show you how I make them. So for this you need milk, I'm gonna use lactose free, cinnamon, honey, some strawberries or berries or whatever kind of fruit you want, and some oats, really simple. So you do the same amount of milk as you do oats. So I'm gonna do um, a cup of oats. I just use the smaller scoop.
you can hear the boys still messing around upstairs and you know part of me wants to part of me wants to go up there and tell them to sleep but I remember when I was little and I'd have sleepovers I would do the same thing so I'm trying to give them a little bit of grace I would just stir them up I just chose the world's smallest spoon by accident <laughs> And then you just let these sit covered in the fridge overnight and you eat them in the morning. They soak up all that milk and they're delicious and healthy. One thing that I learned from my friend Carlene, she has a channel on YouTube, a minimalism channel that I'll link below. Um, but she always talks about a nightly tidy, which is when you tidy up. I mainly focus on the kitchen, but like tidy everything up the night before so that the next day you wake up to a clean house. And I've really been practicing this and it's honestly so amazing to wake up to a clean kitchen every morning. I accidentally started the coffee maker. I meant to just fill it and I turned it on. So I guess we're just gonna reheat the coffee in the morning. Um, but I have a totally clean kitchen ready to start in the morning. And it's so much better than waking up to like having to clean the kitchen. Another thing for me is that it's important for me to have like a peaceful house. Um, a house that my husband looks forward to coming home to and is not like hectic. I want it to feel like a sanctuary and something that is calming and like a, like a calming place to be. So I really try to cultivate that type of environment in my home. And I think that a nightly tidy, like just going through every room before bed and just putting things away makes such a huge difference. So if you don't do it already, highly recommend it. Even if you're tired, it's worth it in the morning. Okay, it's like 9.30 now. Um, the boys had an impromptu sleepover with a friend or having. So we got some pizzas, played some Fortnite. I was challenged to a Fortnite competition and you know I had to beat them because I've been playing Fortnite since before they could even talk. So just put them to bed. Um, I got a package from a brand called Arrowhead Arrowhead Tactical Apparel. And um, I'm really excited to show you guys what they sent me. They make concealed carry clothing, like clothing that help you carry your gun. So I'm excited to show you some of this stuff as I try it out for my 12 days of carry. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, I'm tired. I'm gonna tidy up a bit and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Bye.